Good morning, Coastal. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. I actually wanted to share two verses out of Psalm 91 um, that really resonated with, with me the other day. Um, Psalm 91 verses one and two says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And you know, I was reading this passage the other day and I just kept going back to that word dwell. Um, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. And it got me thinking about that word and its meaning. And dwell can actually mean a couple different things. It could be a place where you live, or it could be somewhere we place our thoughts. In this verse, you know, God reminds us to stay in his presence. His word says that if we do that, we will rest in the very shadow of the Almighty. Shadows are a place of covering and protection. They can provide relief from the heat of the sun. If the heat is intense, then the shade is the place to run to. It diminishes the intensity of the heat. You know, and I feel like that's a great reminder for us, especially when things are, you know, they're tough or intense. Um, when the heat of life bears down hard and heavy, when the pressures of life seem as stifling as a sunny Florida day in the middle of July, the shadow of the Almighty is the place that we want to be. You know, sometimes when trials come, we have a tendency to run to our fears and worry and get overwhelmed by them. In the beginning of Psalm 91, um, you know, we see that we have a much better option. We see here that we can dwell in the shelter of the Most High. That is a place of divine protection. Most High indicates that no threat can ever overpower Him. When we place our thoughts and emotions on God, when we entrust ourselves to God's protection and ple pledge our daily devotion to Him, we will be kept safe. You know, the entire chapter of Psalm 91 is filled with the goodness and the power of God. You know, there's great reminders that he faithfully works on the behalf of those who love him. You know, we might not always see it or feel it, and we might forget it's there sometimes, or even wonder if he's left us to fend for ourselves in the midst of hard situations. But his protection is real. He doesn't forget about us. You know, God is our refuge and our strength when we're afraid. We need to trade all of our fears for faith in Him, you know, the Most High. We need to rest and dwell in Him. You know, and this morning, I just actually want to pray Psalm 91 over us. You know, I feel this is such a powerful declaration of God's hedge of protection over us. So would you bow your heads as I actually pray this, this um, chapter over us? He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely we will, he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that they will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and we look forward to meeting you again tomorrow morning.